Hey everyone, it's Nick again. Um, we are talking more Halloween today. Uh, specifically today, I want to talk about uh, the first Halloween sequel, Halloween 2 for 1981, and what makes it so superior to the other sequels. Um, for me, this sequel always will hold a special place in my heart. Um, it's the first sequel I ever saw. I remember being on a, or sorry, being a kid. Uh, I had to be seven, eight years old, and this was played. I want to say on the USA Network. Um, we didn't have cable at the time, um, so I remember going over to my grandma's house to watch this, and it was fucking terrifying to me. So nostalgia plays a huge factor for me on why I love this movie, why I will always love this movie. But there's other factors on why this movie succeeds where a lot of the other sequels, the other Halloween sequels and horror sequels in general fail. So I just want to talk about a couple of these factors. Uh, it's going to be a pretty quick video, uh, but I just want to get a couple of these uh, thoughts off my chest here. Um, so the number one thing on why this uh, sequel succeeds is just the setting of taking place on the exact same night, picking up exactly where the original left off. It's pretty brilliant to me. Um, you know, you love the tagline, more of the night he came home. Um, obviously, we all know Halloween was supposed to be a one-off, but with financial success comes the inevitable sequel, and Carpenter was forced to write that for a six-pack of beer, as he says. Uh, but we're not going to get into kind of the history about it, but just the setting of having it taking place uh on the same night worked perfectly you know you can watch these movies back to back and feel like one epic long movie within reason obviously uh <clears throat> the portrayal of michael is a lot different but for the most part you have the band back together um you know all, all the same actors and actresses for the most part um and it just feels like one epic long movie so that's number one um sticking with the setting the hospital setting, for me, really, really works. I get that, uh, you know, hospitals aren't usually this understaffed, even the, in the middle of the night. But you got to remember, this is a small Midwestern town uh, taking place in 1978. It was filmed in 81, but it's still taking place the same night in 78. So it might not be that unrealistic, but just the creepy vibe of Michael stalking the hospital looking for Lori, picking off uh, the staff one by one. You know, he's being calculating, slashing the tires, um, cutting off the power so Mr. Garris, the security guard, goes and looks so he can kill him uh, with the hammer. You know, everything about this is just fantastic. You got, they utilize the halls brilliantly, uh, all the empty rooms, um, the hot tub scene is obviously a fan favorite. Uh, so, so many aspects of the hospital uh, were just used brilliantly to craft a, just a creepy, creepy atmosphere. Even to this day, I go in hospitals and kind of the hair on the neck, my, the back of my neck stands up. And it's all because of Halloween 2. Uh, it might just be because I saw it as a kid, but s still, it, it just creeps the shit out of me. Um, so that's one other thing. And I think the final thing that might be pretty underrated about why this movie is so good and why, in a manner of speaking, can compare to the original at least a lot more than all the other Halloween sequels is Dean Cundy, the director of photography. He was the director of photography on uh, Halloween 1. He's the director of photography on Halloween 2. Um, and you, you can totally tell the difference. Um, just the way shots are set up, the way things are lit or lack of light, you know, it's just fantastic. And it really carries over from the first. It's not as good as the first, but you can totally tell that they were really focused on that. I think Halloween 4 tried. Cundy wasn't there, but they tried and they got some stuff right, um, but not everything. But Halloween 2, they, they utilize the light, the blue light, uh, the darkness. They utilize all that. Uh, fantastic. And that's one of the most underrated parts of a Halloween sequel. That was one of my issues with the new Halloween 2018. You know, you just got Michael and they're just, the camera's right in his face, well lit. I don't want to see that. Uh, that. That's not as scary. Have him in the darkness. Have him in the shadows. Um, and I thought Halloween 2, it didn't do a amazing job at that but it did a very very good job and i think we have dean cundy to thank cundy you know had a great career after this he i think he was the dp on back to the future i want to say jurassic park 
um, maybe Castaway or some other Tom Hanks and uh, Zemeckis films. Uh, but he had a great career after this. Um, so he's probably too big now to do a Halloween film. But man, he knocked it out of the park with both Halloween and Halloween 2. Um, so getting Lori back, getting Pleasance back, getting all the cast back, um, for the most part, was obviously really nice um, to keep the continuity, continuity too. Um, you know, Brackett was in it at first, um, and then he, you know, left to go tell his wife that Annie was killed. Hunt did a good job filling in. Um, so I really liked kind of, you know, that Michael's in the hospital searching for Lori, who's also in the hospital. He's picking off the staff one by one. And then you got Loomis and Hunt and the cops looking for Michael everywhere except for the hospital. Uh, you know, so you got kind of a cat and mouse game in two different aspects of the town. Um, so I thought everything about the setting and uh, the atmosphere, the photography and lighting uh, it was just brilliant. And it's something that I'll never be able to be recreated again. Um, so I'm not expecting that for Halloween Kills or Halloween Ends. Uh, it was kind of the perfect storm of a great Halloween sequel. That's why I think it's a fan favorite. That's why I love it in addition to all the nostalgia. So let me know your thoughts on Halloween 2 1981. Uh, is, is there anything I missed? Uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks.